Hello everybody, this is Scott. I am back with the, from the Daily Exposition. And in my last videos, I uh, talked about how to get into AdSense, and this time, I'm going to be giving you a quick piece of advice if you are in AdSense. As you know, or you should know, AdSense allows very strange policies. You can have up to six technical ads on your site. Two, three links, and three media, media slash image. This is a uh, very strange rule, and uh, there's reasons behind it. They don't. The rule is your site, your site should never be more than 30% ads. Mine, I don't even know. This is 250 pixels. This is 250. They're all the same. I believe this is 250. The box seems off because uh, there's something else there. And you don't want your site to be more than 30 percent now I don't do uh, click link ads and the reason is link ads uh, people have to click on them and they're less appealing and while the information is there the only real way that I see people using them is hiding them in their posts to where people click them thinking that they're links from the right of themselves media ads actually do extremely well depending on them depending on which ones you have like I have a bunch of computer related ones very nice very trusting ones and I think that they're very useful some people are gonna say no they're bad and they're a waste of space and my bandwidth well y yes I guess they're a waste of space but um, that would be me working and giving you information for free internet don't work that way <laughs> so it's not like the ads are bad I'm not trying to do anything bad to your computer they're only legitimate Google ads. I only use major uh, advertising networks for any of my ads. Something that you sh that you guys should do also. The trick is with ads is just because you have more than that, more does not always equal better. You also do not try to edit the ads. I have run across people who edit ads into specific links and try to re, uh, redirect me to certain ads. Well, see, I use Google Chrome, and uh, your redirects don't work on me. It's not very effective. So uh, don't try it, because you're not smarter than me. And um, you need to, basically with ads, here's the tricks. The tricks with the ads is you, you want to keep them visually appealing, but out of people's way. You want to keep them to where they can see them. Like, for instance, on me, if I go to my, uh, what is, uh, ransomware. Misspelled the ransom part. I gotta fix that. I don't know why I thought I edited it. But, um, they, as you read, they come here and they read this. They read the picture. Oh, there's an ad. They come down. They see my popular post. They come over here. There's another one. They scroll down, past the comments where they're going to leave their comment. Bam. There's another one. In theory, I could have a longer, like, uh, image board here, but I think that's just taking up too much space that I could use for other important thing, uh, important and, uh, code and space for, I don't know what I put there yet. I don't know yet. But you don't want to keep, you want to keep them to where someone can see them, but you don't want to have more than 30% of your site. My site's nowhere even near that. I have like one, two, three. I thought about doing seven again, but uh, five posts is good, clean, and you can never, you can always see my, you can always like get a good sense of them. The biggest thing is you can't escape these things. These things are here, but they're unobtrusive. And what's this thing? And got three trackers it seems. Yes, these trackers uh, are little cookies. Google AdSense. Google Plus one and Facebook Tracker. Facebook Tracker is Facebook. Google Plus is from Google Plus, obviously, and the AdSense is from Google AdSense. All safe trackers. Easily cleaned by wiping your cookies. And in case you don't know, my privacy policy is, policy is down here. But the trick is, you want to have in the ideal thing to get the most revenue. The higher up on the page that your ads are, more revenue you make. For instance, uh, this is an ad, this is actually I believe is true. Uh, you'll want, for instance, here's my post, and this is about where you'll want to have an ad. I'm thinking about removing this and just going back to the classic one because 
this one has got a lot of issues and it's slowing the load pay, loading speed. I don't like it. But um yeah, you want to have one you want to have them up high. A lot of people decide to put them up here. I don't like it because it hides my whoa. What is this? Eh. I don't know. You don't want to you want to have one up here is what a lot of people do. If you can fit it up there, and I don't do it because I have my follow buttons up here. Well, you're going to be saying, well, you have them right here, too. Yes, but um, uh, people people like options, and I think they actually look pretty cool. I like the way that it just syncs them right there. And these ones, like, follow my YouTube, my YouTube channel, my email, my, my feed burner, my RSS, Google, Facebook, and Twitter, all of them. So the best thing I can tell you is you want to place your ads higher, but you don't... The rule, do the rule of three. You can only have three ads and do two custom search engines. Custom search engines give you more money from the searches and are get, uh, prioritize your content over others when you use them. Don't have more. You can have less, just don't have any more than that. Also, stay away from adf.ly entry scripts. AdSense uh, d does not look very well up very highly of them and they're very annoying they're not very obtrusive they're actually pretty safe compared to what they used to be business has really cleaned up their act lately and I think they deserve a medal for that AdSense doesn't play nice with them they don't like them so don't use them uh, there are some sites that do abuse this and they are very commonly reported I do report sites I uh, do everything that I should you always you can have three, I already went over this already, but just don't have more than these three, and the custom searches are all you need. Don't have more than three, and those custom searches are all you need. Oh my god, I need to write that down. Too late. Good thing I recorded it. Ha ha. But, uh, so thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for another video. If you have any more questions regarding Google AdSense, please ask them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you with an answer. So thank you very much, and goodbye.